And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Shivana. We're going to be playing Soraka Dragons. It's going to be our best deck of the day. I already know it now. We're going to do well with this one. Um, this is going to be another defensive oriented deck, kind of like the Daybreak deck of our last one, but it, it can do some good attacking. So early on, uh, we're of course playing three Dragon Chow. Dragon Chow just does everything in this deck. It's amazing with our dragons of you know, drawing extra cards, like one mana draw a card, very good. But then also, um, not not only that, it can also, um, you know, puts the, like gives the plus one plus one to one of our dragons. So it's, you know, and it can also help with Shivana's level up if it's Shivana, or if you just have a Shivana in play. So for one mana, drawing a card, giving plus one plus one to one of your uh, cards, and also helping with Shivana level up, that's all great. And that's even better in this deck, because if we play it early, because you can also play it early, and it can also just, like, block once and, you know, help you not take as much damage, right? So it can also kind of, like, essentially heal your Nexus and draw a card and help you level up Shivana all together. But then with this deck, now we have Starspring in here. So if we, like, play it on round one, we block, like, a 1-1 one, one Sand Soldier, and then we Starspring, we reheal it. Now you're, like, also, like, helping your your Soraka level up and your Starspring win con. It just does so much, man. We would play more than three Dragon Chows if we can, but we can only play three. So we got those three. Our other two drops, a couple egg or three Egghead Researcher, two Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Egghead Researcher, same kind of thing. Great with Starspring. Uh, great blocker and everything like that. Then also creates more dragons for us. The Dragon Guard Lieutenant, I'm not sure about. Th this was really close, you know, playing Lieutenant or playing Mountain Goat. Gems are really, really valuable with Soraka. Um, except because you know like they each one counts as like one of your four for leveling up so the gems level up your soraka really fast and then when you have your level of soraka your gem cycle and draw another card so gems are really valuable so i could see going mountain goat over lieutenant but lieutenant also just challengers are also really valuable right so like it's they're both great cards it's hard to determine which one to play but we're going to try out lieutenant um, getting all the combat tricks that are amazing all those in here i think mentor the stones is going to really overperform talking about how the gems are very valuable, but then just like the plus two, plus two to your protege, your Soraka, your Shivana, um, your Screeching Dragon, just like plus two, plus two should be pretty awesome. So we got those in here. And then our top end, our top end's the dragons, Shivana, Screeching Dragon, and going in Violas Vox as the other dragon. Um, you know, not playing Eclipse Dragon, going with this one. It's one, one mana less than Eclipse Dragon. I know Eclipse Dragon's a 7-7, seven, seven, but you know, like seven mana is quite a bit. We don't it's hard for us to turn on Nightfall, and so like the it's just kind of like the daybreak, but the daybreak isn't really that important with I'm I'm gonna go with this card instead because uh having Envious Vox in play, then we can just start creating more dragons. And like as far as like Eclipse Dragons and other expensive dragons go, we Envious Vox should be able to help create them, and then Egghead Researcher also creates them. So like we can we can just create Eclipse Dragons and like other expensive dragons. So like we're gonna go with a couple copies of uh, in Violas Vox. Because, yeah, instead of playing Eclipse, we could have played the Vox that makes an Eclipse. <laughs> but then, now we have the Eclipse also, and so on. All right, but anyway, that's that's going to be our deck. We'll try it out. We'll also have, like, Starspring wins. So, as far as, like, how do we win the game, Starspring is one way. Another way is just, like, grinding down the opponent or, or like, attacking with, like, big dragons and stuff like that. So, we'll just kind of see how it does. All right, so Soraka Shivana. We'll go play five games in ranked. Okay, we got Thresh Nasus for our first opponent. I think that we should be pretty decent against Thresh Nasus, just theoretically speaking. I like what we got going on. All right, let's keep the twos. Protege Sharp Sight, nice combo. But I also just thought like Protege with Star Spring, Protege with Soraka. Thought that could do a lot of work for us. All right, yep, predictions are up. If you want to wager your channel points. All right, I'll just play this thing because it's a three-two, so it can it can block fearsome. Wow. Okay. It's honestly not that bad for me, right? Like I know I have sharp sight and everything, but I'll just take this trade. Cause you know, like we want it, we don't want to take lots of damage early, right? 
Well, that's not bad. They just killed two Nasus. I mean, because that one drop is just Nasus, as we know. So they just got rid of two Nasus. Alright, I'll pass. With them wasting their mana. I'm worried about Vile Feast, of course. So I could spend three mana to kill a 4-3. But then I don't have this for Nasus later. I think I let them I think I let them have the 4-3. They're acting like Vile Feast still. Ooh. That was the plan. So that happening, no real reason to play Star Spring right now. I'm telling y'all, Dragon Chow is amazing. All right, first time playing uh, this one. What is this, the Dark Star? Dark Star Shivana. Let's go. And them. And them. Yeah, the Dragon Chow traded up in mana pretty good. Traded one for three mana. I walk through the ages. The age of dragons is begun. There are more like you. We'll see. This could be a mistake by me. I was like just pretty hasty to play that hush, to be honest. I could just, like. Oh, I guess no. Yeah, because sharp sight wouldn't have worked, right? Because yeah, because they kill that thing, so that that means the Nasus was turned into an 8 8. So yeah, sharp sight would not have worked. Okay, so that. Okay, so not so hasty. That makes sense. Yeah, Thresh looking kind of scary. Thresh is now at three. See? Envious Fox creates Eclipse Dragon, right? So, like, why play Eclipse Dragon when you just Envious Fox will just create Eclipse Dragon? You can just skip the middleman. How do we keep dealing with more Nasus? Besides Infinite Mind Splitter. I think Infinite Mind Splitter is kind of our. It's kind of our answer. So that's five. That's six. Okay, and so that's two more eight ten. Okay, so this it should be a ten ten. 
Nasus right now. It should be a 10-10. Yeah, we didn't draw it. Yeah, we didn't draw very many. So, yeah, so the... Hmm. Should be a 10-10. Okay. Let's see. This, this challenge is this. All those... I wanted to wait till after combat to play this Mind Splitter, but I kind of feel like I maybe need it first. Because yes, oh, that, that's going to be an 11-11. This is going to be the second Nasus. The, yeah, they, are, they already played one and we hushed it and killed it, but now Thresh is putting in the second one. Yeah, so it's a 10-10. Problem is here, it's about to be an 11, and I can't... I can't stop that. So that's a 5. Screeching Dragon's only going to be 3 power. Seriously? So I kill this Nasus, but then this Thresh puts in another Nasus? <sighs> Come on. I just, I'm one mana short, right? Like, I need two mana for the Sharp Sight for this because of the minus one, minus zero. And then I need three mana for the, for this card. I can't strike Thresh. I'm one mana short. <laughs> That's more dragons. We don't. Need, we have drawn. So, yeah, we have all the dragons. Mono dragon. So is this this thing now thirteen or fourteen? Thirteen. Okay. Now it's 15. We can't draw anything but dragons. We drew this one guiding touch and then just mono dragons. Who does not know the name Laurent? See 
what we see, but yeah, they, they obviously have atrocity for how slow they've been playing and everything. It's it's quite obvious they have atrocity. Which is why I can't continually overextend. Which is why I'm keeping mana available. Come on. Yeah, I, I am representing a whole lot of different healing cards, like not only just Guiding Touch, but Star Shaping as well. They already know about Hush. They certainly have to be worried about Hush. I mean, I, I should do this on the Screeching Dragon because it would heal the Screeching Dragon for two. So I don't I don't know why I'm doing it on... I should do it on the Screeching Dragon. I guess they could Vile Feast this, that. It was not atrocity. Why'd I play this other white flame protector? If I just don't play the protector? I could have won with Soraka's wish. Why wasn't I playing close? I was just so focused on that being atrocity. I'm doing that because that gives me the other fearsome blocker. Come on! The only top deck that wins the game. The only one, because like I could only go to 21 now. The only draw that saves them in the whole deck. We are having some bad luck today. The only draw. Such hatred in their hearts. That. Yeah, it was the third Nasus. The third Nasus got me. We gotta find early units. Can't really keep any of the spells without early units, because see, like, we mulligan. If we, if we don't have early units, we lose. Game was so disappointing. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. I should maybe kill that curse keeper. Yeah, I should have blocked the curse keeper. It would just kill the O1, but you know, like that 
of one would be gone and I'd be at 15. So it's Star Spring and get the Star Spring started and it's one out of 22 or hold Hush next round for Screeching Dragon. Um, I guess I'll just get this started because I don't think that kind of no matter what I can cast the card Hush next round because we see how important it, it is for Nasus. Well now I would, uh, yeah, if I didn't play the Star Spring I'd have the single combat mana available to go along with that. So that's certainly worth it. Like, that's basically just, you know, like, killing their champion with that single combat. That's worth it. We do always get Eclipse Dragon for free. But you can see why I mulligan all my cards. I wanted some early, want some early stuff, and we didn't exactly get that. Just uses the mana. It also counts as heal number three for Soraka if we draw Soraka. I just don't have Nexus healing. This is just... Just didn't work out. I shouldn't have cast that single combat when I did. That was a poor single combat. That was not... That ended up not being worth it much at all. No. No, no star shaping. We have lost some incredibly, incredibly frustrating games today. I'm sorry, I'm not usually this negative. I'm really sorry. Down to one. Yeah, it's just better to kill the 2-1 than kill the 1-1 one -one spider, I guess. It's not atrocity if they're playing two things. I don't know how many Glimpsbeons they've played so far. Is it, just, is it double Vile Feast on the 4-2? Oh, looks like... That was weird. We had a connection issue there for a second.
We're at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're at 17. So I have 11 mana. Assuming 5 of it has to stay with Concerted Strike. That means I have 6 others, which is not enough for Shivana and Soraka. It is enough for Soraka and Hunch. Oh yes, they don't have they don't have Atrocity mana anymore. But if it if it's just there we go. I was going to say if it's uh, Blight of Caretaker. We did. They're just going to do that? So... I mean, the reason to do that is Vile Feast. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21... Wow, what was what was that about? They chose death. The heavens rejoice. Okay, another aggro deck. We need to find our early units. If we can find our early units, we've seen that we can play some really good defense. If we can find early units. So right now, Shivan is an early unit. Guiding Touch is a tough one to mulligan, but I'd rather find an early unit. I guess we got Dragon Chow. The Emperor commands the land. We can do some blocking. We healed. We blocked two either way, so we might as well, you know, like we can have like a Dragon Chow as a 01 or an 02. We're at 18 either way. Might as well be. Might as well do that. Or they have another 1 1. We can block it. They get, they get real aggro. Pass. No attacks. Yeah, no attacks. That doesn't look like a good attack to me. Oh, never mind. Good chance I should have saved the single combat for the Shivana. The dragon's ready laws to get out. You need not follow, but you will witness. May not be worth doing that. Keep it alive to for guiding touch sharp sight. But yeah, I should have saved that single combat for that Shivana. Would have been able to kill this Azir. This is your end. I think they're saying GG's like I'm gonna win this. I, I guess they're saying that they've ran out of steam. Maybe it could be like the stun, they all get plus two, plus two type card. Sweet is seven. Down to four. Our hand was amazing. It really was. Forgetting this dead 
I guess their hand was just better though. Their hand was incredible. Um, Zed and Yasuo are the two cards that have the new cosmic, like a new level up animation. Gotta hope they have like noxion fervor, right? And <laughs> not reporting in. Not decimate. So I can't handle decimate. Man. I don't know how we could have why not spend mana? Because if I spend mana, then it allows them to cast the Decimate in their hand. Something else, but besides that... I guess Hush is amazing against Victor, but do I really want my opener? Not really. We haven't had a turn three Soraka yet, have we? In any of these games, right? Like we were playing against like those aggro decks, we haven't had like a Soraka on round three. It's kind of the point of our deck is Soraka. Our opponents have no chill, do they? No chill. I am more than I seem. We should be able to block this Sunfork's Posse next round, I would think. Well, the time that I played the Star Spring, we didn't have didn't have Soraka, but a little luck for those who need it. Break them. Yeah, you have to assume they have removal, hush, that kind of stuff, but I guess you never know. It's worth it's worth trying, right? Because Shivana Shivana's good enough to be uh, worth the, the two spell mana and like you know the card. It's it's worth trying. Up Shivana. And so, yeah, we'll have to trade our dragon challenger for the Sumpworks Posse. So, we just gotta stay alive. And I can attack with the Shivana, it gets the plus two, plus two. They have to like block with dredger and then also use a two damage spell, which I guess you know if I don't attack then I I can 
Kind of set it back on defense. Have it heal one. No, so yeah, I guess I don't attack. No, Dragon Dra Dragon Cho definitely worth it. Chow definitely worth it there, there. Because, like, they had, like, the six mana, right? So, like, I play Dragon Chow, they play this thing. If I just lead with, like, the Dragon Chow is a perfect draw, right? Because if I just lead with the five mana card, then they would could have, like, Thermogenic Beam, and they would have the mana for Thermogenic Beam to take that down. What are they getting? Plus two, plus one, and Overwhelm. Kinda of sounds like something to hush. With a little time, I'll have a breakthrough. Seems like something to hush. As darkness falls, the moon rises. Honestly, maybe I should just be blocking with the... Actually, yeah, I should. I should just be blocking with Researcher. That doesn't... Really? Like, that doesn't help you. <laughs> that, that was not a good hush by them. I'm being a little greedy here. I want to play Envelos Vox first before the Strafing Strike, but that could mean they get another Moon Weapon. Oh, they get a Dragon. Alright, so now, of course, because I want to play the Strafing Strike, so that means we don't get to play the Envelos Vox anymore. Don't have the mana for both. That's alright, you did good, little dragon. Our star springs up to seven. Soraka drawing cards. Things are coming together. We have more cards in hand than they do. I want to play my right, my OG in Viola's box, not my like created in Viola's box. I want to go OG style. Hey, Len Green, what's up? What's up? All right, we going OG. <laughs> we make Eclipse Dragon every game. I'm telling y'all. No need to put in no need to put Eclipse Dragon in your deck because you're just gonna create it anyway. Speak, I say. That's all right. We trade three mana for three mana, but we get three gems. These gems are really useful. pretty sweet. We've just kind of gotten cheesed out by an atrocity and a decimate. Both doing exact lethal. Uh, I guess the the atrocity by the time they played it was actually a little bit more than exact lethal because I played the guiding touch, but sentiment remains the same. Real Rankler! Keeping a tier 3 sub. So much support. Y'all get a bunch of hype for Real Rankler. 
Thank you, my man. First sub of the day. All right. And I, we get a win. See, there's no no surprise there. Got to get that sub luck. We get a sub, opponent concedes. Just can't handle it. All right, Zoe, Shivana, Aurelian, Soul. They have lots. They've played this deck a ton. Like, look at all that. Uh, this is kind of the only deck they played. Oh, this is the really good player. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gnome Gear is an amazing player. So, this is going to be tough. For sure. This is going to be tough. Thanks, Sun Green. So, Aurelian Soul goes bigger than us, right? Like, we're... We're kind of built a little bit more to face aggro. Um, probably only one Aurelian Soul in the deck. Hopefully they don't find it. The more we learn, the less we fear. You think they're playing two Aurelian Souls? That's worse for me. Does look pretty sparkly. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. We wear red to honor the fallen. Ready weapons. So for them, best case scenario is like sharp sight the three one trade with Shivana with that. All right, cool. Pretty bad for us. Yeah, my opponent's playing star shaping unlike everybody else playing this deck. They should be a master's rank pretty soon, hopefully, and we can stop playing against them because <laughs> they're really good. They know exactly how to play their deck. about going guiding touch plus eclipse dragon gosh that card's unbeatable yeah i mean that card's just unbeatable
Thankfully, our Eclipse Dragon's doing some work. A little bit of work. Not a lot of work, just some work. Star shaping MVP for my opponent. Last time we lost to them today, star shaping MVP. Today, you know, this game certainly star shaping MVP. You know, without without the star shapings, like these, you know, these screeching dragons are isn't nearly as good. I'll think about just trading with this thing with Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Because now the you know now the mana doesn't matter. So just kind of clearing up the board a little bit. Now we just take the damage. And that is why we just take the damage. Obviously that card can't be beaten, so GG's. I think that that matchup's gonna be pretty tough, right? Against against that player playing a really in soul and star shaping, I'm not really expecting to win hardly ever in that that game. Like honestly, with this list against that, like they're both mirror mirror decks, kind of right. Like we're playing the same kind of cards, but in the mirror match, their deck is miles miles better than ours. Like you know, we're playing a lot of cards that are downgrades, like Soraka and stuff like that. Um, well, they're playing a lot of cards that are upgrades, like a really in soul and star shaping. So, no, no shame losing that. We didn't really have a chance. You like that? We're gonna lose nine out of ten. That's okay. It's the other two that are kind of annoying. That you know, like the first one where we win if our opponent draws anything except for atrocity, and they draw atrocity. And, and you know, like so, the third Nasus with atrocity. I think, I think the Thresh Nat, like so, basically, like Thresh Nasus kind of matchup. I think that, I think honestly, I think for like. How both of those games played out, I think that you will win a good amount against Thresh Nasus with this. I think that's a very favorable matchup, but we did lose that one. Um, and uh, against the the Azir Burn deck, again, I think that I think that this is probably going to be really good against that kind of deck, um, but it didn't play out like that, right? Like they had to decimate to do exact lethal. Um, you know, sometimes it goes like that. So we did unfortunately go two and three, lost two matchups that I like. One, we didn't have a chance, and that's okay. But that's kind of how today was. Today was just a 2-3 kind of day. And it could be worse, right? It could be worse. It could be a 1-4 or an 0-5 kind of day, <laughs> right? So got to look at the positives. It could be worse. It could be worse. But, um, yeah, so that's going to be uh, Soraka Shivana. Always enjoy playing a brand new champion combinations. Um, you know, sometimes it sometimes it runs good. You know, like we had a couple of games like where it looked really great. So we, sometimes... Uh, not so much, you know, like where we had some some games like where we really struggled finding our early stuff against the aggro deck, or um, just you know faced a really really bad matchup there that last one. But overall, I think it did pretty good, and uh, it didn't get to face like too much like Draven Ezreal kind of stuff. Like there's a lot of those kind of decks running around. I think this I think this deck here is going to be really good against Thresh Nasus and Draven Ezreal. All right, anyway, that's going to be it here for Soraka Shivana. Um, to those of y'all on YouTube, thank you so much. I can never say that enough. Um, and I will see you for the next video.